Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. It was properly posted on July 10th, as our prayer and pledge will be led by Mark Cycle of the Treasurer's Office. Sometimes I see things that can express it better than I can in my own heart. Uh, this was from a Jesuit priest on July 4th, and it's certainly always good to pray for our country, so let us pray. Father of all nations and ages, we recall the day when our country claimed its place among the family of nations. For what has been achieved, we give you thanks. For the work that still remains, we ask your help. And we have, and as you have called us for many peoples to be one nation, grant that under your providence our country may share your blessings with all the peoples of the earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mark. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of July 3rd? Move we approve the minutes of July 3rd. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Five through sixteen are consent docket items. Move the consent docket unless there's individual consideration. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Our awards. Good morning. Howdy. Good morning. We have one award this morning. Bid number one one eight zero zero one six two for the Oklahoma County Adult Detention Center, kitchen, HVAC, and plumbing repair. Three bids were received, and after evaluation, we are recommending award to the low bid, Jim Cooley Construction LLC. Move we approve the award. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 18 is the standard lease agreement for our postage machine. Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 19 is for the chairman to sign a release of an easement. Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 District 2 has a uh, renew the following lease with a caterpillar between ODOT and Oklahoma County. This is an asphalt recycler. Move it. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 District 3. Uh, District 3 has item 21 and 22. 21 is the same thing as we just approved. It's a, an approval of our continued lease agreement uh, with the state on a number of pieces of equipment. That's been an excellent program for us uh, because we're able to uh, acquire uh, these pieces of machinery uh, on a lease purchase basis and the interest rate is very, very low uh, because of the state. So I move approval of item 21. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Item 22 is an agreement with the Deer Creek Public Schools. We'll be doing some maintenance uh, of a channel and detention pond at the high school near MacArthur Boulevard. Uh, and uh, Deer Creek will reimburse us for our costs on that. I move item 22. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The county clerk has an abstractor's bond in the amount of $100,000. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 I believe uh, the link to item 24 is on item 34, just for the record, I think. For those following online. But this is the Office of Emergency Management Services, and it's um, a requisition contingent upon the encumbrancing of funds. Move the item. <laughs> um, I'll second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 25 is the renewal of the Electra Digital Design Move. Studios. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 26 is to approval of the annual report of collections for the occupational tax for mixed beverage and caterer licenses. Move the aye. Good to know that we have that. Uh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 
27 is to approve the consulting services agreement with um, OSS Law Enforcement Advisors and Operational Support Services for the case of Martin versus the BOCC. Move it. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 And then also a uh, conjoining item 28, consulting services uh, for the same case. Move the aye. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Emergency management has some fire equipment agreements. Move all three. Uh, move, I'll second that with item 29 being for the new Walla Fire Department, 30, City of Vail City, 31, the town of Luther. All in favor say aye. 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 Engineering has the uh, elevator services contract with uh, Tone. That's what I was trying to figure out how to pronounce that. Yeah. Move the item. For the courthouse building so that we can add service to the ninth floor. Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Facilities maintenance is an elevator services agreement with Kone. Move it. This is the uh, continued repairs regarding the flood that we had uh, this year. Uh, and it, amazingly, we've gotten that much damage, but um, we, had, we had the insurance for it. Um, so I'd move our second item, 33. All in favor say aye. 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 And then again, item 34, the link was on 24. So we're just announcing that publicly. Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, 35 is an agreement with Plus Consulting. Move it. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 From the Juvie Bureau. Uh, he's your standard, aren't you, Jamie? Yeah. Move the item, please. The lawn maintenance. Uh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Purchasing. It's just a lease agreement with the copier. Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Then, uh, John, did you want to speak to the sheriff's items or? I'm going to move them all. Um, on the armor contract, is it being renegotiated or is it just exactly the same? I heard rumblings it was going to be maybe re-examined. Seems like it's for a lesser amount, maybe. Uh, it's actually for 3.22% percent higher than it was last year, which was the, the cap amount that was built into the contract where it couldn't be increased. Uh, by more than 3.22 or the CPI, whichever is less. And this year the CPI was actually, I think, 4.8, so the 3.2 kicked in. Um, and so that's what the increase is on the base amount was 3.22%. Okay. All right. Is there any other individual questions on the sheriff items? I don't have any. They're all uh, contingent on uh, encumbrance. Yeah. Uh, and some have been encumbered, some. Uh, I believe, to my knowledge, they've all been encumbered, and or they are on the blanket list that you all will be approving today. Okay. Um, I have one question on the food services contract. Uh, we've talked about getting some additional cleaning done by the vendor, so we wouldn't experience maybe some of the same problems. That language is then in the contract. Just to come, it's just going to be a conversation with the vendor. Okay. And we're working on that. Just a reminder. To the vendor. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. I've moved them all. Oh, I'm sorry. I will second items 38 through 73 uh, with the understanding, and I've, I've reviewed all of these agenda items. They all appear to be uh, renewals of existing contracts um, that uh, are routine in nature. So I will second items 38 through 73. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Is there a motion to approve the claims? Move it. Aye. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any change to the blanket? Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Now, citizens to be heard. You, you have a concern? I live on Triple X Road, and uh, we uh, we got a problem out there um, with the ambulance service. It's not the ambulance; it's the road. 
Triple X is closed, and that's the main artery to get up to where I live, which there's 11 old families living on that one mile. And uh, Monday, my brother-in-law, he lives on that mile. Monday, he liked to die because it took so long for the ambulance to get there. He had a heart attack Monday morning. And uh, that's a straight shot from 23rd. The ambulance has to go four miles out of the way through several inter uh, intersections and stop signs and what have you, which they got to slow down for and cur corners. And it's taken a lot longer for them to get up to all of us. I have, my heart doesn't beat all the time. It skips a beat, a third beat, it doesn't beat. And uh, I am, I'm a high risk for strokes. My dad had them, his dad had them. So, you know, an ambulance getting to May quick is really important. And like I said, there's 11 families that live on that mile that are either retired or getting ready to retire. And we have a, in the section that I live in, there's a school there that depends on that, that road if they need an ambulance. Because one from Choctaw has to wind around through the town to get to us. And the one on um, on um, at Hera, <coughs> excuse me, at Hera has to go east to Luther Road and go north there and go through several stop signs and corners to get to us, which slows them down. Um, a little over a week ago, we had a wreck down at the corner, and um, a guy they estimated was doing 100 mile an hour when he hit a tree. But he was in real bad shape and. Uh, took a while for the ambulance to get there. And then uh, Monday morning is the same thing. And it's not the ambulance's fault, it's the road's fault that's causing this. And triple X is a main artery for, to get from um, 23rd to Britain Road. That's the only road out in that area that's a through road. It has no stop signs uh, all the way through. And uh, we're we're real. Uh, uh, I don't know what worried about. Uh, if it's uh, my turn for the ambulance to get there and it can't get there quick enough, um, we're wanting to know what's going to be done about Triple X to get it open back up. I, I'm a person that's worked with uh, dirt my whole life. I know. I know. Um, I've seen the area where it's uh, what's caused it to be closed and I know that uh, it can be going in and rip wrap it like they did on the hogback and uh, Hawassee. District 1 done that on the hogback and Hawassee, same problem and um, and it's held forever since uh, then and that, that could be done the same way and that oak road could be opened back up. The, the river is 20 feet away from the road, the edge of the pavement now. Um, and I'm just wondering what can be done to get that thing open back up because there's a lot of people's lives that uh, depend on that uh, ambulance being able to get there quick. So uh, that's what I'm here for. So could we have your name for the record, please? I'm real hard here and so. I'm sorry. Can we get your name for the record? Can you what? Your name. Can you what? Would you tell us what your name is? Oh, Don Miller. Don Miller. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I meant to say That's that okay, before starting. No problem. But, uh, um, you know, we're, you know, like I said, there's 11 families on that one mile that are retired age or, or retired. And uh, not counting, there's three or four younger families. Plus, there's a school right there, and uh, there's a nursing home south of us. <coughs> but we, you know, if there's any way in the world to get that road open back up, we need that thing for a lot of a lot of people. We really appreciate you bringing that to our attention, okay. and. Uh, because of the way our, our meetings are structured, we really can't discuss it here 
because it's not on the agenda. Yeah. But I'm sure somebody, we've got folks in the room who hear you, yeah. and we'll look at it. Well, you know, I just, we're just asking for I to get that open. And uh, um, because I could have lost my brother-in-law Monday because it took a little bit longer for the ambulance to get there. Okay. And he had quit breathing at one time, and they got him, my sister-in-law got him to breathing again. So, you know, so, you know. Very sorry about your brother-in-law and for the yeah. person involved in the wreck. Yeah, I, I seen, <laughs> I see you're in a wheelchair too. Uh, you gonna be okay? I'm, I'm gonna be okay. Oh, good. He wasn't going 100 miles an hour, he was going 99. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, that's, you know, what I have to say. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Any other citizens to be heard? Judge, I see you back there. Do you have anything? Okay. Okay. All right. If not, Commissioner Comments, District 1. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think I'm back to cheering. Uh, looks like I better because we got this new guy with GP. Uh, never heard of him. Um, Obviously, he everybody else has heard of him because he had a crowd out there, and I can only remember being out there at three o'clock in the morning one night waiting for the thunder to get back home. So um, I believe in the crowd. So you'll be, be hearing from me uh, about the thunder from now on. Thank you. It's not a shocker, but. Uh, Paul George is going to be an excellent addition to the team. So that's, that's his name? Paul George. Okay. PG. PG instead of GP. Correct. All right. Okay. Uh, I may make those mistakes, but you know you can charge it to my brain. <laughs> How much can your brain pay? Well, just try it and see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we, we've... Uh, We've been having a good summer uh, up at District 3, so I hope that continues. Um, I have no other comments. You've got Echo a years. beautiful school up there. I got lost. Where did you go? I, I went past into Deer Creek School. Deer Creek? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was about 25 miles away from where I should have been. You were a long way from I was home. a long way. But that is a beautiful school. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Looks like a university campus. I guess I'll go and join and and be a member over there doing something. Do you think they take caf cafeteria workers over there? You're a doctor. Uh, yeah. You're a doctor. Dr. Johnson. I mean, yeah. <laughs> cafeteria have, workers. They have Dr. Cat uh, folks working in the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any new business? If not, we'll open the bids. Morning. As for the lease and service of washers and dryers for the sheriff's department, auto floor services. And bid number one one eight zero zero three two zero, and that's for District Three paving on Rockwell, BNS Construction, Markwell Paving Company. Pasco Lemon Construction Company, Silver Star Construction Company, and Atlas Paving. And that concludes it. Uh, we'll move it. Move it to be tabulated and recommended for uh, approval. Second. As is normal. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Is there a motion to recess into executive session? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Or is there a motion to go back into regular session? There is, John. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Now is there a motion on the pending item? Uh, Mr. Chair, as to item 81, I would ask that we defer that item until next week and receive further information at that time. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Is there a motion to adjourn? There is. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.